Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today, and today I'm going to be installing a pin lock shield or a pin lock uh, anti mist visor in this new to me showy RF 1400. Um, before I get into it, why do I say new to me? To come out and say it, this is an open boxed helmet. I personally couldn't afford spending, I think it's like five or six hundred dollars on the RF 1400 brand new. So I got an open box helmet. What's that mean, open box? Um, someone purchased this helmet within the last month to a year and returned it because they didn't like the fit, maybe it didn't fit properly, uh, they didn't like the, the look, or they just didn't want it anymore and wanted to try it on. Perfectly can happen. You can get open box helmets from places like Revzilla.com or Amazon or even Cycle Gear, I think, because they're owned by Revzilla. So, um, that all being said, here's what this means. And I'm not going to really show you an unboxing because it's a beat up box, but I am going to show you the helmet. So, th this is the Pinlock Shield right here. Um, hopefully, you guys can see it. This has been torn, but it hasn't been installed yet. Very easy to install. Um, there is uh, a thing about the Pinlock Shield that a lot of YouTubers in their videos, all of them do pretty, not all of them, most of them do pretty wrong. Saying all of them is kind of a generalization. I shouldn't be doing that. So most of them do pretty wrong. This is my shield, or my helmet. You can see it's, it's new. There's nothing old about it or used. I think there might be a scuff from when they returned it in the packaging, but that's it. Sticker still on. Um, the thing that a lot of YouTubers do wrong in this install and in the videos they do is you shouldn't be touching the interior of this shield or not this shield, this pin lock. What you should be doing is simply installing it without touching the, the middle that goes between the shield and the pin lock. Otherwise, you're going to have fingerprints because that doesn't unpeel and come off. So, without further ado, let's just do it. So first thing you need to do, and I can't really see the camera right now, so I apologize if you're not seeing everything correctly. I'll try my best to position this and make it a quick video. Um, we need to get the shield off, so. Uh, with this helmet, there's like a button, a release button, you push in, then you push up. Get it all the way to the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. This whole mechanism um, for the shield moves in. So there's a little button here push, then you pull the whole thing in, then you put the visor down, and then you slowly, it's like a, a push up almost. So let's see if I can get it the first time. Almost. Do it again. There's one side. Did you see how easy that was? I mean, there was a little finagling there, but I got it out. I'm going to do the other side now. So same thing. Push in. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you can. Push in, push down, and then slowly finagle. Now, I'm, not, I'm not being rough with it. Remember, it's not just pushing this button, it's a whole mechanism forward for the shield. Huh? Almost, got it. Now my shield is out. I'm not gonna do anything to touch that. So, in another video, I'm probably gonna show you guys how to silicon uh, the, the, I guess, silicon areas of the shield to make sure it's uh, waterproof. I'll do that in another video, but not waterproof, but um, breath proof even more. And also, so you guys know, I already installed the breath deflector here for the nose. Um, I did that in a prior video. Very simple. Push it in, that's it. And I'm going to do a chin curtain, not video, but I'm going to install that next too. So let's just focus on the pin lock for this video. Uh, first thing I want to do, since I got the, the, since I got the lens off and the shield, is take a microfiber cloth. I've got this Ray-Ban one right here uh, for my glasses. You can use any brand you want, but you could peel off this sticker. I don't want to right now, the sticker on the shield. Um, all I want to do is wipe away any fingerprints that the old owner might have had on this. Um, why am I doing that? Because I don't want fingerprints on the shield in between the pin lock when I install it. Now when you get a pin lock, they come with instructions. Uh, it gives you instructions on how to like torque 
this, uh, I shouldn't need to really. So what I'm doing here, and I'm going to show you guys too, I'm pulling this out of the case here. This is the little shin, uh, spin lock instruction, uh, I guess, packaging. Usually you have to cut the top of that. This is the manual in, it looks like, Japanese, Chinese? Uh, Japanese. Sorry, I'm not great with characters. Um, let's see what we say here. I do like to just look over, make sure I'm not missing anything. Install pin lock. So let's see if it's facing down. That's facing inwards. That's facing inwards. Next thing I want to do, install pin lock lens so that silicon bead between the lens and the peel back of it says up on the shield here on the sticker. Um, so basically I know this is going to go like in like this with this facing up. I'm not touching that blue. There's a couple videos where they show you touching the inner, um, which is not covered or sealed or anything. So I'm not touching that because I don't want to mess with fingerprints on this inner shield here. One thing I am doing is blowing a little air to make sure there's no uh, dust particles from the prior owner on this shield. So. Let's do it. So first thing I want to do is install one side here, completely another way. Okay, I just got it around in the first pin. Now, now I need to slowly bend this so I can hit the other pin. Remember, no finger. Look at that, guys. I got it in. I am getting the seal. And you always, when you get this installed, you hear a little pop. And that pop is the bead of the, um, uh, the pin lock. And what I mean by bead, oh, let's focus, is there's a silicon bead here. That pop we usually hear is that bead creating a seal. Now when you get that, that little pop, that seal keeps the moisture, aka the fog, out. So this is now installed. I'm going to just go ahead and take this uh, protective pin lock cover off before I uh, install this in the helmet because it would be exponentially harder if I did not do it now. Done. Off. And I think we're pretty good. Alright, to conclude this uh, pin lock install, there I got the pin lock installed, I'm going to pop this shield in. Uh, the trick is to get these notches lined up. You just do one. It's going to be hard to see. You get the two notches lined up. Two. And then I believe you just push in. Yep. Uh, I'll get you guys a better view. <laughs> Sorry I'm not zoomed in on some of this. But there's a notch there. A notch. Two notches here and then one there. You got to get all three pushed in. on Or four pushed in on both sides. And then you're golden. And then up down, that's how you know it works again. 